Wild talk is the talk of black people that white people found offensive and was cause for them to come lynch people. Ida B. Wells was famous for publishing in the free speech about a lynching that happened in Memphis. And they actually smashed up the free speech offices and drove her out of town. So it's a dangerous and radical act for us to speak up and use our voices and to demand that we be treated like human beings. Black people have been wrecking language ever since we've been here. We stand on it, we twist it, we make it our own. It is something that is joyous to have the power and the strength to stand up after having centuries of oppressions to actually use that language to help us get free. Mr. Vice President, I'm speaking. I'm speaking. So I'm reclaiming my time. Do not take that away from my time. Don't you fall now. Don't still go on, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Her many colors represent the shades of African American women. The people who truly need to be realizing their kingdom and kingdom are my black brothers and sisters. I fall in love with myself and I want someone to share it with me. We will definitely not uh, shut up and dribble. It's just because we don't feel like using them big ass words don't mean we ain't smart. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. But okay, thanks. Bye. Hey, Black Queen. How can I help you? It saves me from being too Harlem, too deep, too black. But girl, you was all of that. When my mother and father moved from the deaf school in Raleigh for the Blacks and were integrated with the whites. The teachers didn't understand their Black ASL. The students picked on them and mocked them. And my parents were forced to code switch and change their language. <laughs> when you're identifying a language that is lost, you have to do your research on what happened, the history before all of this. For so long, my mother and my father felt like the deaf school, maybe they didn't teach me right. And we're learning about ourselves every day. When you with your people, people that identify with your experiences, people that look like you, and having a conversation where you can just be yourself, that's Black ASL.
to see that my mom is now learning about her history. I'm just happy that she can get her roses while she's here. Connecting language and black joy is freedom of expression. to know that my mom and my dad have special signs that they used to use and they're starting to identify again and include them in conversations, cherishing what's been lost, that brings my family joy.